Uh, hello, everyone. Um, today, I want to talk about something that we start to uh, call one reality. And, um, and it kind of has the subtitle, Weaving the Fabric of Everyday Life. And I borrowed that uh, subtitle a little bit from a quote from a paper that I really, really think is very inspiring. Every one of you should, should know about and read it. It's from um, 1991 from Mark Weiser, The Computer for the 21st Century. And many years ago, I, I read this paper when I started in augmented reality. And just recently, I, I read it again. And I was like, wow, this is like, you know, learning how I thought that time and learning how I think now uh, doing all of the work that I do. So, and, I, and I want to kind of use that as a foundation for this talk. So the most profound technologies are those that disappear, that we are basically not aware of, that we always just use. They weave themselves into the fabric of everyday life until they are indistinguishable from it. I think that, that, that's like the opening words of this paper, and I think they're really, really interesting to, to really take in and let us all reflect on what we do. Because only if our technologies really just become ubiquitous all around us and we never think about them, then we really succeed, and then we really also succeed with our reality. So um, this talk has three steps. The first, I want to talk about the yarn that we can use for that kind of weaving. Then I want to talk about what is that fabric that maybe Mark Weiser pointed to. And then the last point is how the kind of work that, that we've, we're doing and where we think that maybe can help with the weaving. So first, uh, the user interface yarn. A, sc a screen alone is not a user interface, OK? As we cannot do anything with a screen. But in the same time, the screen can become everything if we have the right software for it. AR alone is not a user interface. It's, it's a really nice uh, demonstration here, a little turtle flying around. It looks pretty, but it has no meaning other than looking pretty. We, we cannot do anything productive with that. However, if we start combining augmented reality, for example, with robotics, Suddenly, we can draw a pathway on the floor, and the robot can move that pathway. And it opens up the whole universe of how we can deal with robotics. It's, it's, it's really, really interesting to explore that. If you combine it with origami, you suddenly become an origami expert without ever doing it before. Uh, augmented reality can help you, train you uh, how to learn folding origami perfectly. Okay. Combine it with a digital twin, and suddenly you can become, uh, get superpowers to see into a car and learn about the, the inner workings of, of a car by just X-ray vision into it. And if you combine it with IoT, uh, you suddenly can get user interfaces as simple like never before, where you can instantly learn about uh, an object about its uh, parameters and change parameters. And in this case, it was a scale where you can set up when it, uh, the, green tur the light turns green when you reach a certain um, weight. So this kind of like the, the, the yarn that we can use to weave the fabric. So what, what, what is this fabric that we should weave our reality with? It's everyday things. It's the things that we have for transportation, bicycles, cars, traffic lights, all of the things around us. In the kitchen, you have kitchen machines, uh, you have a thing, light switch, food. I mean, these are, this is the world, the fabric of, of the world that is our everyday life, right? Um, maybe from a factory worker perspective. Uh, it's communication. It's when we are right in, in front of a person, we can talk and we use our hands a lot. Uh, remote, we all sit on these little boxes nowadays and, and uh, be in a separated universe. And then we have um, a lot of technological realities, uh, all very disconnected from the physical reality around us. Um, just some examples like buzzwords that are state of the art at this moment. But all of these technologies really have their own domain, and they mostly uh, are not um, interchanging with each other. Many separated realities. And 
when we did these experiments with finding out how good of a yarn for reality, augmented reality can be, uh, we, were, we were starting to think, well, how can we use that also to, to help the separations of those realities? And um, last year we did um, a demo at a, at a conference from PTC uh, and got quite some, some feedback. So I wanna show this next. So what, what, how do we weave into the fabric? So here you, you see that scale again that I, that I showed before. I'm gonna talk a little bit over it. So the problem is here I have an on-off button and I really would like to have this on-off button on that screen here. It's a touch screen that, that I can uh, basically operate user interfaces with. But currently, I only have that button in augmented reality. I would like to have it on, on the physical thing. So what I, can, what I can do, and let's wait until the virtual Valentin speaks for a little bit so he shows the demo. Okay, so what I can do, I can take that user interface from the screen. It was on the screen before, now it's in augmented reality. And I can then go over to that button that I really wanna have at hand at all times. I just take it from that experience, drop it into the screen, and push it into the screen. So now what I did, I used an IoT AR demonstration, I used the desktop user interface, and I, merge them together in one user experience, weave them together in one seamless user experience, okay? So the same thing, uh, a little bit more advanced. So here we have uh, a system that I can program in augmented reality. So you see this uh, programming system here. You might have seen it a few times and gave talks about it. Uh, I can program two systems together but um, Ben here, he really would like to take some of these user interfaces with him. So he has this tablet, and uh, he can take a user interface from AR uh, and just drop it onto that tablet, Chuck into the screen. Okay, so he has the on-off button to start and stop the machine. He also wants to get some sensor reading, so he takes it out of that screen and drops it into, into his screen. So now he has this user interface on his screen, it's fully operational, and, uh, but, but he w really wants to work from a control room, so he needs to take this to another room, takes it out of that display and puts it uh, back into a desktop computer. So now he can operate the system remotely. And all of that through uh, walking through physical space and interacting with things in a, in a more natural way, right? Okay. So, so this works really well, and uh, this, this demo works really well, but so far, this is only uh, 2D content. And um, we started this as a small demo, and we, we're, we're exploring it more and more. It's really interesting to learn about that, that new concept of how we can use augmented reality. Um, and one thing that we recently also did was to, to use this for 3D data. So here we have uh, Christian, who's somewhere over there in the room. And uh, Christian really just wants to take a, a 3D model out of a screen, right? And he wants to move it over to a 3D printer and, and just print it. So <laughs> he's taking all of this uh, disconnectedness in the computer. I mean, the computer is well connected within its software, but from a user perspective, it's, it's cumbersome to, to do these connections. But with augmented reality, and the ability to weave all of these realities together, we're certain, suddenly able to have a really simple user experience here. So, so this is what, what we think when we reflect on that vision for ubiquitous computing from an augmented reality perspective, how we are able to weave all of these realities that we formed in technology into one uh, single reality, and, and that's what, what we envision with one reality. So these are just some few little demonstrations. We're continuously working on it, and I hope uh, in a year or so we're gonna, we're gonna show you another one of those presentations. Um, we just uh, moved to Seaport. Uh, John talked about it in the beginning. So we're having this lab, we call it the Reality Lab, um, for researching these uh, realities. 
And uh, some of the heroes of the lab are in the room. Maybe you can give them a little applause because they're really doing all of the, all of the hard work. Um, OK. And that was it from the PTC Reality Lab. Thank you.